The purpose of this video is to briefly demonstrate how to calculate the percent composition of an element in a compound. Now something that you will need to know how to do prior to adding this skill to your toolbox is calculating the molar mass of a compound. If you don't know how to do that yet, go back to the previous skill in the module and work that out beforehand. All right, so step one, you're gonna calculate the molar mass of the compound, and then the next step is fairly simple. You'll calculate the percent composition of each element by looking at the total mass of the element, dividing by the total mass of a compound, and then multiplying by 100. This is no different than calculating a percent for any other thing you've done in math. For example, if we were looking at the number of students in the classroom who were wearing purple shoes, and let's say we had a classroom of 20 students, if five of them were wearing purple shoes, we would do five divided by 20 times 100, and that would give us the 25% of students in the classroom wearing those purple shoes. Sadly, there's no students in the classroom right now, so we definitely can't make a realistic example. All right, hopefully that changes in the near future. Okay, let's look at a very, very simple compound. We're gonna use water as our base and we'll just work through a couple of examples to make this video really, really short. So if I'm going to calculate out the percent composition of let's say hydrogen in water, the first thing I would have done was calculate out that the molar mass of water was 18.02 grams per mole. And then I'm going to just set this up according to um, this, this equation right here. So I have two hydrogens in the water molecule times the individual molar mass of each hydrogen atom. I'm going to divide that by 18.02 and then multiply that entire thing by 100. I'm going to go ahead and plug that into my calculator really quickly. So 2.02 divided by 18.02 times 100, and I get a nice lengthy number. We're gonna round to the hundredths place like we've been doing with everything. So 11.21%. Now if I wanna know what the percent of oxygen is, I can do the exact same thing. So I could do, you know, we have one oxygen divided by the molar mass of water, 18.02 times 100, and get my answer that way. So 88.79. Some of you are laughing at me right now because you're like, why did you plug that into your calculator? You should know how to do that math. Um, trying to minimize how many mistakes I make in this virtual learning world that we're in right now. So that's one way we could do it. The other way I think is the way that a lot of you did it in your head real quick. Just subtract out 100 minus 11.21%. If there's only two elements in the compound, the total percentages of each element should add up to 100. That's just something, again, good for you guys to keep in mind. All right, let's do one more example with something that's a little bit more complicated, aluminum carbonate. So the formula for aluminum carbonate is Al2CO3, and we had previously calculated out the mass of this to be 239.99 grams per mole. Now your quiz is not going to ask you to calculate out the percent composition for every single element. The homework assignment that you'll practice will do that and it, again the key will show you all those steps. This is going to be on your quiz pretty straightforward. It would ask you a question like what is the percent of aluminum in aluminum carbonate or what is the percentage of carbon or what is the percentage of oxygen. So let's just calculate two of those at this time. We'll calculate aluminum and then oxygen for this compound. Again, with aluminum, there's two in that compound with a molar mass of 29.98. Oops. 29.98, and then we'll divide that by the molar mass. What's nice when you're doing this um, away from a screen, you can actually just plug that right into your calculator and you don't have to write it all out if you are not making mistakes with this. You 
Again, rounding that answer out to the hundredths place, I'm going to round that to 24.98%. So 24.98% of this compound is aluminum. Calculating out a percent composition and then utilizing that is a skill we will build upon when we start looking at empirical and molecular formulas. A lot of the data that we're given relies on this ability to take a percentage and convert it over to a mass. So very, very helpful for the future. All right, so that was aluminum. Let's take a look at oxygen. Again, on this aluminum carbonate, we have nine oxygens times 16.00 grams per mole for every oxygen that we have in that mole of compound. And then we're going to divide that by 239.99 times 100. Bear with me while I plug that in. And we get 60.00%. The math is really that straightforward. Again, this is a skill that a lot of chemistry students enjoy because yes, it is chemistry, even though it feels like math, and yes, it is something that is an important skill as we move forward. So being able to do this and feel successful will help kind of boost your confidence in these days that we're away.